Candidates should be able to Describe the properties of sound such as the production of sound by vibrating sources, it is the longitudinal waves, and compression and rarefaction of sound waves. State the approximate range of frequencies audible of humans. Know that a medium is needed to transmit sound waves, and the approximately speed of sound in air, liquid and solid. Describe a method involving a measurement of distance and time for determining the speed of sound in air. Describe how change in amplitude and frequency affects the loudness and pitch of sound waves. Define ultrasound and the use of ultrasound in non-destructive testing of materials, medical scanning and sonar including calculation of depth or distance from time and wave speed. Describing sound wave. Sound wave is the longitudinal wave, which means that the particles of the medium vibrate in the same direction as the wave is traveling. Sound waves are produced by vibrating sources. When a vibrating source moves back and forth, it creates pressure variations in the surrounding medium. Sound waves require a medium to transfer their energy. The medium can be air, water, or any other solid or liquid. This is why sound cannot travel through a vacuum. The sound travels faster in solids than in liquids and faster in liquids than in gases. The speed of sound in air is approximately to 330 meters per second. The speed of sound in liquids is approximately to 1,500 meters per second. The speed of sound in solids is approximately to 300 to 500 meters per second. The explanation of how a source, such as a drum produces sound. When you bang a drum, the skin vibrates. The vibrating drum skin causes nearby air molecules to vibrate. This is because the air molecules are bumping into each other. The vibrating air molecules cause other nearby air molecules to vibrate, and so on. This creates a series of compressions and rarefactions in the air. The compressions are regions where the air molecules are closer together and high pressure. The rarefactions are regions where the air molecules are farther apart and low pressure. The compressions and rarefactions travel through the air as sound waves. The distance between the consecutive compressions or consecutive rarefactions is the wavelength. The harder you bang, the bigger the vibrations and the louder the sound. This causes the air molecules to be closer together in the compressions and farther apart in the rarefactions. The greater the difference between the air pressure in the compressions and rarefactions, the louder the sound. An experiment to determine the speed of sound in air. The speed of sound in air is approximately 330 meters per second at 25 Celsius. Speed of sound in the hot air is faster than in the cold air. This is because the air particles in hot air have higher speed than the cold air. So, the speed of sound in air varies from 330 to 350 meters per second. Investigate the speed of sound between two points. Two people stand a distance of around 100 meters apart. The distance between them is measured using a tape measure. One person has two wooden blocks, which they bang together. The second person has a stopwatch, which they start when they see the first person banging the blocks together and stops when they hear the sound. This is then repeated several times and an average value is taken for the time. The speed of sound can then be calculated using the equation. Speed is equal to the distance traveled by sound to divide by time taken. Investigate the speed of sound using the echoes of sound. The echoes of sound is caused by the reflection of sound. A person stands about 50 m away from a wall using a tape measure to measure this distance. The person claps two wooden blocks together and listens for the echo. A second person has a stopwatch and starts timing when they hear one of the claps and stops timing when they hear the echo. The process is then repeated 20 times and an average time calculated. The distance traveled by the sound between each clap and echo will be 2 times 50 meters. 
The speed of sound can be calculated from this distance and the time using the equation. Speed is equal to the twice of distance to the wall and divide by echo time. The echo time is time that the sound travels forward and backwards. The diffraction of sound. Sound can diffract around the corner of the building or through doorway. This is because the wavelength of a sound is similar to the size of door gap or the corner of the building. When a person is walking on the other side of building, he can hear the sound from the radio because the sound from the radio diffracts around the corner of the building. When a person is the outside of the room that the door is opened, he can hear the sound from the television inside the room. This is because the sound can diffract through the doorway. Pitch and loudness of sound. The frequency of a sound wave is related to its pitch. Sounds with a low pitch have a low frequency or long wavelength. Sounds with a high pitch have a high frequency or short wavelength. The amplitude of a sound wave is related to its volume. Sounds with a large amplitude have a high volume. Sounds with a small amplitude have a low volume. Ultrasound. Ultrasound is the name given to sound waves with a frequency greater than 20,000 Hz. Humans can hear sounds between about 20 Hz and 20,000 Hz in frequency, although this range decreases with age. So, the frequency of ultrasound is beyond the range of human hearing. The sound with frequency lower than 20 Hz is called the infrasound. The uses of ultrasound. Sonar. Sonar stands for sound navigation and ranging for the boat and some animals. Bats and dolphins use a similar method, called echolocation, to detect their surroundings and to find food. Sonar and the echo sounding can be used to measure depth or to detect objects underwater. A sound wave can be transmitted from the surface of the water. The sound wave is reflected off the bottom of the ocean. The time it takes for the sound wave to return is used to calculate the depth of the water. The distance the wave travels is twice the depth of the ocean. This is the distance to the ocean floor plus the distance for the wave to return. The depth of the water can then be calculated using the equation. Speed equals the twice of the depth to divide the echo time. Medical scanning of soft tissue. To construct images of a fetus in the womb. To generate 2D images of organs and other internal structures, as long as they are not surrounded by bone. Check for cracks inside metal objects. A crack in a metal block will cause some waves to reflect earlier than the rest, so will show up as pulses on an oscilloscope trace. Each pulse represents each time the wave crosses a boundary. The speed of the waves is constant, so measuring the time between emission and detection can allow the distance from the source to be calculated. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, and leave a positive comment. Your support will help me to continue making videos and encourage me to create new content. Thank you.